This is the future of flight. Where I'm standing is in front of the Whisper Jet. This team here in Crossville, Tennessee, the Whisper Aero team, is working day in and day out to not only create jobs in this really cool town in a future, but also create a new way we get around. Quiet technology. You see, here's the thing. When you're flying in big airlines, loud, noisy, and takes a lot of time. And the problem with that is, is if you just want to get to grandma's house across the state, just to go 45 minutes, you don't want to get in a big jet. But what you do want to do is call up an air taxi, jump into one of these things, drop your luggage off, maybe hang out, meet some new buddies. And in less than an hour, you're where you need to be. And the best part about all of it is this thing, it's going to fly itself. Whisper Aero is the definition of an industry disruptor. Founders Mark Moore and Ia Villa are not only changing how we think about flight, they're destroying the narrative that big innovation companies can only exist in big cities. What is the problem that you're trying to solve here in America? We are making the quietest and most efficient way to generate thrust. A lot of other companies in this new electric age are using propellers. Um, propellers are great for going slow, yeah. but when you want to go fast, you want something that's closer to a jet engine. So these are effectively jet engines, but with no fuel. So they what use electricity. No okay. it, it, it takes electrons in and turns it into thrust really, really efficiently and quietly. And y'all are like jumping full feet in the arena and be like, we're going to change flight and the way people in interact with each other. Just what gives this team, what gives you just that courage to do that? I think you just got to, you, you have to get started, but you also come to this realization that these big audacious goals, it starts with tiny steps and you just continue to build, and build, and build, and build. And when you realize that you can stack these wins over time, and if you're just 1% better every day and you bring on other people that also have that same mentality, then you actually can take on something big and bold. Why in Crossville, of all the places from Silicon Valley to the East Coast, why'd y'all pick kind of Main Street America to build in America? Well, two reasons. A big picture level, we wanted to live in the future that we're trying to create. And that is where people have so much mobility access that they can live, work, play wherever they want. And especially in the more rural areas, there's so much more opportunity yeah. to live and have a quality of life that's really fantastic. We really believe in a future where everybody is more connected with mobility choices. When you have these aviation services right in your backyard and right next to you, they've got to be quiet. So they're not annoying the neighbors and and, and really promoting a future that is very considerate and compelling. Tim Mitchell is a mechanical designer and he grew up in the Crossville area. Getting a job at Whisper means he gets to do what he loves in a place he loves. I can't believe for like a cool, low key town like Crossville, we're standing in like a state of the art hangar. You grew up around these parts. Would you ever think that something this high tech would be in this town? No, normally when you think of this level of technology, you think, you know, either of the coasts, Silicon Valley. And to have that in the center of the country, it's, it's amazing and I'm glad that we're doing this. What do you think it means for the town, especially someone who's local like yourself? So one of the big things is it means people stay here. A lot of times when people get jobs, they're moving away to Atlanta or to Tullahoma or to you know, further afield. Having high tech here means that the people who came here and learned here get to stay here and build up this community. Yeah, man, so those parents are also kind of happy that their kids get to hang out a little closer yeah. for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's awesome, man. The ripple effect of Whisper and Crossville is hard to overstate. It's creating high paying, high skilled jobs for locals. It's pulling in sharp young grads who'd rather build their future in a small town than burn out on the coast. And it's even drawing top tier talent from big tech cities. Folks trading traffic and high rises for green hills and slower mornings in a place where their dollar and their work goes a whole lot further. What, what about the talent here? Like, is, oh. is it still thriving in America? Can we still build stuff? Absolutely. I think that's what I love about, you know, Crossville. There's a lot of skilled, skilled workers. Like when you mentioned going to the machine shop. And so we have local guys here that grew up in this area working at, you know, uh, the local laboratory over here. Um, doing this stuff, the R&D, CNC, 
Um, there's a lot of skilled folks here. And there's a lot of folks like myself who came from the West Coast and want to try something different that are want to come out to these parts. And so yeah. that's probably the biggest challenge is trying to find those guys who want to come to Tennessee with that skill set. And fortunately, we've been, we've been successful. And if you think Whisper Air is just about reinventing flight, think again. Their breakthrough, Quiet Tech, has the potential to transform everyday life. Imagine Whisper Quiet hair dryers, kitchen vents, and even the fans in your computers. Their first consumer product will be the Tone Leaf Blower. And it's so quiet, it'll blow you away. So you're telling me like, the technology that's gonna get people flying all over the country autonomously via aircraft and quietly do so, you're also letting the everyday human utilize that same technology in the palm of their hands. That's our goal. Oh, let's go, I'm gonna go see this. Yeah, thing, man. let's try it let's out. Let's go check it out. So we can, we can go back to this room back here. What, what do you use at home? Yeah, well, we got, we got I'm a grew, I grew up as a Milwaukee guy. All right, let, let's get so, you in Milwaukee. Okay. That thing seems serious, man. It is, it is. Um, okay. This guy, so for comparison, this guy is putting out, uh, our, our leaf blower is putting about 50% more power than this leaf blower. Oh, it's quieter and more power? Quieter and more power. It's 20 times less sound intensity than this. And what that equates to is like 60% less or 60% quieter. So that's like kind of hard to imagine. So I think it make more sense if we just take we go, it. Go go try it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, man. Okay. <laughs> oh man, you're much further away. Oh yeah. You oh. don't even have a nose, dude. I know, I, I got nothing here. <laughs> so, and then if we get, if we got real close, Oh, you gotta let me try that, man. Can I try? Yeah, yeah let's switch. Hold on, let me see. Hold, like, just for noise. <laughs> Dude, that's nuts, man. That's crazy. I don't know if we can convey in the video just how much quieter the tone leaf blower is. You almost have to experience it in person. But I can testify, it's super quiet. Like talk on the phone while you're blowing leaves quiet. Mark, this is fun. It's a powerful leaf blower. And it's amazing. We can have a conversation and you're at full thrust. 24 newtons of thrust, oh, which yeah. is as powerful as a backpack steel leaf blower. I'm destroying leaves right now, man. Yep. And I'm not like, not even raising my, I have my church <laughs> voice on right I, now. I know. <laughs> it's just like, that's how quiet the, the future can be. Whisper Arrow is going to change the way the world moves to the sky. But what's happening down here, right here in Crossville, is just as powerful. This company isn't just building next gen engines. It's reigniting the soul of a small American town. It's proven that innovation doesn't belong exclusively to Silicon Valley or the coastal tech hubs. It belongs to anyone willing to roll up their sleeves and get to work. Sure, Whisper is obsessed with speed and scale, just like every other tech company, but they also chose community. And in doing so, they reminded the rest of us that small town America isn't dying. It's just getting started. All right, y'all, for more stories like this, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps us get the word out. And if you ever thought about building your American dream, visit us at AmericanOperator.com.